The strange thing, folks, you may have noticed this too. You see these folks on television. They never call anybody back from hell. Everyone comes back from heaven, but never from hell. If they call back any of my friends, they're not going to, well, you see the story. Now, Sylvia Brown is an exception. An exception in one way, because the James Randi Educational Foundation, my foundation, offers a $1 million prize in negotiable bonds, very simply, won by all you have to do is prove any paranormal, occult, or supernatural event or power of any kind under proper observing condition. It's very easy. Win the million dollars. Sylvia Brown is an exception in that she's the only professional psychic in the whole world that has accepted our challenge. She did this on the Larry King Live show on CNN six and a half years ago. And we haven't heard from her since. Strange. She said it, first of all, that she didn't know how to contact me. Duh. A professional psychic who speaks to dead people? She can't reach me? I'm alive, you may have noticed. Well, pretty well, anyway. She couldn't reach me. Now she says she doesn't want to reach me because I'm a godless person. All the more reason to take the million dollars, wouldn't you think, Sylvia? Now, these people need to be stopped. Seriously, now. They need to be stopped because this is a cruel farce. We get people coming to the foundation all the time. They're ruined financially and emotionally because they've given their money and their faith to these people. Now, I popped some pills earlier. I have to explain that to you. Uh, homeopathy. Let's find out what that's all about. Hmm. You've heard of it. It's an alternative form of healing, right? Homeopathy actually consists, and that's what this is. This is um, uh, Calms Forte, 32 caplets of sleeping pills. I forgot to tell you that. I just ingested six and a half days worth of sleeping pills. <laughs> six and a half days. That certainly is a fatal dose. It says right on the back here, in case of overdose, contact your poison control center immediately, and it gives an 800 number. Keep your seats. It's going to be okay. I don't really need it. Because I've been doing this stunt for audiences all over the world for the last eight or ten years, taking fatal doses of homeopathic sleeping pills. Why don't they affect me? <laughs> the answer may surprise you. What is homeopathy? It's taking a medicine that really works and diluting it down well beyond Avogadro's limit, diluting it down to the point where there's none of it left. <laughs> now, folks, this is not just a metaphor I'm going to give you now. It's true. It's exactly equivalent to taking one 325 milligram aspirin tablet, throwing it into the middle of Lake Tahoe, and then stirring it up, obviously with a very big stick, and waiting two years or so until the solution is homogeneous. Then when you get a headache, you take a sip of this water, and voila, it is gone. Now that is true, that is what homeopathy is all about. And another claim that they make, you'll love this one, the more dilute the medicine is, they say, the more powerful it is. Now, wait a minute, we heard about a guy in Florida, the poor man, he was on homeopathic medicine, he died of an overdose, he forgot to take his pill. <laughs> work on it, work on it. It's a ridiculous thing, it is absolutely ridiculous. I don't know what we're doing believing in all this nonsense over all these years. Now, let me tell you, the James Randi Educational Foundation is waving this very big carrot. But I must say, the fact that nobody has taken us up on this offer doesn't mean that the powers don't exist. They might, someplace out there. Maybe these people are just independently wealthy. Well, with Sylvia Brown, I would think so. You know, $700 for a 20-minute reading over the telephone, that's more than lawyers make. I mean, that's a fabulous amount of money. These people don't need the million dollars, perhaps, but wouldn't you think they'd like to take it just to make me look silly? Just to get rid of this godless person out there that Sylvia Brown talks about all the time? I think that something needs to be done about this. We really would love to have suggestions from you folks on how to contact federal, state, and local authorities to get them to do something. If you find out, now, I, I understand, we, 
We've seen people even today speaking to us about AIDS epidemics and, and starving kids around the world and impure water supplies that people have to suffer with. Those are very important, critically important to us, and we must do something about those problems. But at the same time, as Arthur C. Clarke said, you know, the, the rotting of the human mind, the business of believing in the paranormal and the occult and the supernatural, all of this total nonsense, this, this medieval thinking, I think something should be done about that, and it all lies in education. Largely, it's the media who are to blame for this sort of thing. They shamelessly promote all kinds of nonsense of this sort because it pleases the sponsors. It's the bottom line, the dollar line. That's what they're looking at. We really must do something about this. I'm willing to take your suggestions, and I'm willing to have you tune in to our webpage. It's www.randy.org. Go in there and look at the archives, and you will begin to understand much more of what I've been talking about today. You will see the records that we have. There's nothing like sitting in that library and having a family appear there and say that mom gave away all the family fortune. She cashed in the CDs, she gave away the stocks and the certificates. That's really sad to hear. And it hasn't helped them one bit, hasn't solved any of their problems. Yes, there could be a rotting of the American mind and of minds all the way around the earth if we don't start to think sensibly about these things. Now, we've offered this carrot, as I say, we've dangled the carrot, we're waiting for the psychics to come forth and snap at it. Oh, we get lots of them, hundreds of them every year come by. These are dowsers and people who think that they can talk to the dead as well, but they're amateurs. They don't know how to evaluate their own so-called powers. The professionals never come near us, except in that case of Sylvia Brown, that I told you about a moment ago. She did accept and then backed away. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm James Randi, and I'm waiting. Thank you. Investment in broadband high-speed internet can help small businesses create new American jobs. Small businesses are being formed. Dreams are being launched. And at AT&T, we're investing billions to upgrade and build out our wired and wireless networks. Now is not the time to stall momentum or stifle innovation or investment. Jobs, dreams, and the future are at stake. AT&T, your world delivered.